What's up, everybody? I'm back, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about the brand new Elgato Marketplace. It's this awesome, basically like a central digital hub, a store for everything you could possibly need graphic-wise as a streamer. We're talking overlays, icon packs, counters for your stream cool animated designs and the best part is everything is located in one place for you to browse Con new things are going to constantly be being added super easy to install right into your o obs and of course stream deck compatible so we're gonna dive in and take a quick look at s just a few of the things available to you guys so first thing obviously what you're gonna want to do is hop onto the website and create an account make sure you link your payment info too so i've already connected my account and this is what you're going to see on the first page you can quickly filter out what you're looking for overlays transitions sounds you got your video category some really cool uh 3d stuff here i think i've actually used this one before and of course audio you got your um, copyright free music, your sound effects. <clears throat> what can we do? Let's set up a counter. I've used counters before for like subathons or for um, jump scares. In the spirit of the new Call of Duty coming out, we are going to do the Gulag or Glory counter, which looks pretty cool. Now, it's important to know on the page, you want to do show more. If you're not sure how to get things installed, um, it'll give you all the instruction instructions right here. We're going to just go ahead and click get because it's free. In that folder, you'll have your assets and everything like that, but you really don't have to worry about it. All we're going to worry about is this uh, file right here. The and sorry for the time portal here, but you're going to go into your OBS and we're going to go to tools, scripts. I already have a script installed, but we're going to add a new script. And we're going to go ahead and go to our Gulag Glory and our counter. And there it is right there. Now you might notice it says font required. So if you want it to have the same look that it has in the marketplace, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get font. Okay, so I've got my font installed. I'm gonna keep the name the same and we're gonna go ahead and import the counter. Now, the cool thing to know, it adds it to its own, let me go over here. It adds it to its own um, scene by default. Um, so it doesn't really mess up anything you've got going on. However, you can come back in here and add it to a scene. So I'm gonna add it to the scene I'm recording on right now. So our next step, if we wanna be able to quickly add a win or a loss or reset, whatever, while we're in game with the press of a button on our stream deck, we gotta give it a hotkey. So we're gonna go ahead and go into file settings in our OBS, hotkeys, and we're gonna do a search for a counter. So I did shift one for reset, shift two to increase the win, and shift three to increase the loss. Hit apply and okay. Next step is we gotta go over into our Stream Deck software and we're gonna grab our hotkey. In this case, I'm gonna do three. And you just wanna make sure you set the same exact key presses that you did in OBS, makes sense, right? They have to match. We don't lose, but we'll set that anyway, just in case, good to have. If this works correctly, when we press our Stream Deck button, there you go, it animates all by itself, it adds our win. Let's see what happens if we lose. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> So it's just a quick way for you to interact with your stream, keep track of pretty much anything you want, really. Um, and then, of course, we can go ahead and reset it. Not only is this great for you as a creator and a streamer, because it gives you all of these different assets right at your fingertips, but it also connects you with these community sellers, these creators who normally might have their products spread out through different websites and platforms, might be finding it a little hard to get noticed and get out there. I have I feel like I've been waiting for something like this as someone who has gone from website to website to find 
people on Twitter that do emotes or do overlays like to fit my style, something I might be looking for now, you know, those creators can put their work on the marketplace. I can go to the marketplace and be able to just look through everything and easily buy, download, install, and then I'm ready to go because I I don't know about you guys, but I don't got a lot of time anymore to be like farting around. (laughs) I don't got a lot. I don't have a lot of time anymore to be messing around and like scouring the internet for hours. So I'm just so happy that this is this is a thing and I can't wait to see what Elgato does with it. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I don't know about you, but I'm going to say the marketplace is a win. (laughs) 